Hey, everybody! Last Outrider here with my first Lizard Man video for you. In this video, we're going to talk about the history of the little Lizard Man and why they are one of the least understood armies in the fantasy battle universe. So let me try to clear that up for you with the Lizard Men. The origins of the Lizardmen are shrouded in an age of myth when creator gods came to the world and recast it according to their great plan. Coldly alien and enigmatic, the Lizardmen pursue the mission of their long-lost masters from the steaming jungles of Lustria. The Lizardmen race was created by the mysterious Old Ones. A race of godlike beings whose empire spanned not just the world, but the vast gulfs of space and time. The Old Ones departed the world in the wake of a terrible calamity, and their servants, the Lizardmen, were stranded in a world irrevocably changed. Their presence, unnatural and whoops, denizens of Lustria, the Lizardmen are divided into a number of subspecies. All are impassable and inscrutable, yet savage and entirely devoted to their long-lost creators. The Slan are the leaders of the Empire, bloated, immobile creatures whose magical powers are greater than those of the Elven Loremasters. The soldiers of the Empire are the Saurus, single-minded and mighty warriors be bearing spiked weapons of heavy obsidian and bronze and protected by bony armored plates. The artisans and administrators are the skinks, diminutive and skittish, yet fast and nimble, scouts and fighters on the battlefield. The in empire of the lizardmen is quite unlike any other the Lizardmen are not born into the world as most other creatures are. Entire generations called spawnings spontaneously crawl forth, fully formed, from spawning pools in the jungle or in the dark caverns beneath the temple cities. The entire spawning will share the same purpose and fate. Whether it is a regiment of Saurus Temple Guard tasked with defending the Mage Priests, or a generation of hulking Croxigor destined to rebuild a fallen Temple City. Whatever mission they are spawned to fulfill, the Lizardmen are perfectly adapted to it, according to the great plan of the Old Ones. Bum bum. The Lizardmen at War. The race of Lizardmen exists to further the work of their creators. No matter that their creators have long since departed the world, many of the world's races have emerged in the age since the departure of the Old Ones. Their presence unnatural and contrary to the proper order of the world. The Lizardmen make it their mission to eradicate such races to restore the balance lost with their gods. The greatest battles have been fought against those who covet the riches and power of the Lizardmen and attempt to penetrate the sacred domains of Lustria. A Lizardmen army arrayed for war is a truly awesome sight to behold. Serried ranks of unshankable Saurus march beneath the shining totems of gold the pounding of their war drum striking fear into the hearts of the beholder foe. Before the source march regiments of smaller skinks who use their speed and familiarity with the jungle to outmaneuver the enemy, raining down poisonous darts and javelins from unexpected quarters. Perhaps a slan mage priest has deigned to lead the army in person. Born aloft upon his arcane palaquin and surrounded by his utterly loyal Saurus Temple Guard. Even the beasts of the jungle heed the will of the mage priests. Above the battlefield swoop flocks of leather winged pterodons, skink riders guiding their mounts to drop crushing boulders upon the enemy. 
teams of especially bold skink handlers, goad fire-breathing salamanders, great gouts of burning venom arcing through the air to immolate the foe. Others harry the irascible barbed razordon towards the foe, hundreds of lethal spines impaling any foolish enough to approach. Waves of snakes and lizards rise from the undergrowth to overwhelm those who would intrude in Lustria. Striding through it all are the, Marty, are the mighty Stegadons, their tread causing the very ground to tremble. Mounted upon their backs is a swaying howda bearing a giant bow or huge blowpipes crewed by the boldest of skinks. Others bear the ancient and arcane engine of the gods, bizarre war machines that harness the power of the old ones in blasts of blinding sorcerous power. Most destructive of all are the carnosaurs, the jungle's most deadly predator, ridden to battle only by the strongest of the saurus. Though mighty in arms, the army is unsurpassed in its magical potential. The Slan are amongst the oldest beings in existence and learned in the ways of magic at the feet of the gods themselves. Few wielders of magic in the entire world can hope to prevail in a duel against a Slan mage priest, for their minds are as dams harnessing a vast reservoir of mystical energy. With the slightest gesture, a mage priest can summon an unfathomable sorceress power and bring about the doom of entire armies. But an uttered syllable of command can muster the cold-blooded armies of the lizardmen to march to war against those who would defy the will of the gods. <laughs> and in part two, we will deal with children of the gods. Until next time I see you, bye!